Hey everyone and welcome to another All About Arby's video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020, yes I said 2020, Forest River Salem FSX Platinum Edition upgrade of the 178 BHS. This is a small lightweight bunk model trailer with a queen bed up front, single axle, we're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the outside and then the inside. Now on the Platinum Edition upgrade, you can see the wording and everything there on the siding. So that does kind of tell you, hey, Platinum Edition. Uh, but basically what they do is they put a little bit thicker metal on the front and fiberglass side and rear wall. So you're upgrading for a few hundred dollars more the siding of the camper. And what we have again, Platinum Edition gray colored fiberglass on the side nice big slope roll back here on the front section single 20 pound propane tank lower diamond plate across that front section there the unit comes standard with a manual tongue jack you can ask your dealer to upgrade to a power tongue jack if you'd like standard 2 and 5 16 hitch ball the unit has four heavy duty scissor jacks standard on the coach now so you got a jack on each corner. You can see that down there. Traditional double RV entry step. On the corner here, it is pre-wired for the Furion solar panel right there. If you wanted to do the Furion portable solar panel. Fiberglass entry door on the Platinum Edition, which matches the color of the fiberglass sidewall. Power awning, LED light strip. The awning comes out usually about eight feet. Going on around a little further here, you can see again, single axle, large folding entry handle, your model number, 178 BHS right there. Uh, six gallon gas water heater, fresh water tank fill up, electric outlet, refrigerator access panel for maintenance. Fresh water tank with drain down below there. Going on around toward the rear of the coach. The unit comes with a spare tire, but when it comes to the dealer, it is not installed. It's just in the storage compartment. Uh, so this is again here in the garage. They are getting ready to service and prep this unit. Uh, so that'll be installed on the back by your dealer. City water hook up on the rear pre-wired for backup camera back here the roof is arched some for crown, uh, crowning so that you can the water will kind of run off of it a little bit uh, the bunks are in the rear corner here that's where you're seeing the double window right there gutter extensions down both sides does have the three inch extenders on the ends to help shed away the water a little easier city water uh, I'm sorry, cable outlet is right there, your cable satellite hook up there. Power cord hooks up and pulls out right here. Your dump area for your gray and black tanks. And then this is storage underneath the bunk area. Now this does go out into the coach also. So you can store some stuff and still get to it from inside. Um, I would recommend doing a couple of those like little plastic totes and stuff for the kids clothing. You can stash it right under there so they can get to their clothes and change pretty easily. Slide out is the electric Schwintech slide system. There is some storage here that you can see a little bit there. Spare tire again and stuff in there crank a handle for your jacks down there. I would probably get a good cordless drill and socket to zip those jacks down. Now on the side of the coach, you're gonna find some information here. This is where your VIN number is located, also engraved in the frame, but you'll see how to tell the difference here in a 20 and a 19, there will be an L right here. If you count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters, eight numbers, whatever, you will see an L instead of a K. That tells you the unit is a 20. Axle, 4,400 pounds. ST, 225, 75, R15, D-range tires. Gross vehicle weight of the coach, 4,870. That's basically your hitch weight plus your axle weight. So not all the weight of a camper sits on the axle. 
production date. This particular camper was actually built 313 of 19. So one of the first 2020s. Normally they don't do this until April, but for whatever reason, Forest River decided to change some of their products uh, March 1st. So here we have our dry weight. Dry weight of the camper, 3,825 pounds the way it sits. Now this is a tad heavier because it has the platinum package on it. That platinum package adds about 150 pounds to the coach. So if you do find a metal version, it's going to be a little bit less. We're going to walk around to the inside of the coach. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in checking out more of my videos. I'm trying to update all these new RVs as they come in. Uh, Toll-free number 888-417-8299, my direct extension 203. Again, Ray here at Couches RV Nation. Walking up into the coach, kind of looking toward the rear end of the coach, you can see your bunks back there. Has USB charger on the wall right there. Down below the bunk on the right is also the electric box with the breakers and fuses. Furnace control there. But a good big wide bunk. So decent amount of room for a kid to sleep in. Same thing down below. Backing up here a little bit. You have the six cubic foot gas and electric nor cold refrigerator in between the refrigerator there and the bunks is actually the bathroom we'll walk back in there so you can see that foot flush toilet little sink some storage below medicine cabinet there led light little uh vent in there and your shower pan so not a huge bathroom but there's enough room to kind of get in and out a little bit easier than some of the other models I've been in uh, again nor cold refrigerator nice upgrade here on the fact that you can actually control the temperature a little better than the Dometic version and also it has a little flip lock here for storage purposes you push the little thing it latches the door open so that the refrigerator can breathe so a little bit nicer handles and stuff compared to the Dometic version. Spinning back around, looking toward the front, you have your big U-shaped dinette. There's doors on the sides of the dinette there, so those open up for storage. Your queen bed up front, you have overhead cabinet across the top, a little hanging closet on the side over there. And there's a portable little Bluetooth speaker you can see hanging below the cabinet there. That comes standard with the coach also. Big sink, two burner gas stove top, uh, gas propane furnace down there. There is one drawer and then there's some storage below the sink here. Now, they do put a little panel there to stop you from storing some stuff there. Uh, I've had some customers who have taken those out and still kind of stashed a little bit of stuff around there. But basically, that is the water heater underneath of there. So you don't have a lot of room behind that panel, but you could kind of sneak some stuff back in there if you want. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos on these new RVs. TV hookup is right there if you wanted to do a small TV. Little monitor panel and the awning button and a light switch button and stuff on the side of the cabinet there. Traditional microwave. There's a little roof vent in here. Again, you can see your air conditioner there. Overall, a nice little lightweight, less expensive camper. Um, you have USB charger, electric outlet there. Do it real quick. Let's just see inside this cabinet here. So you got a little hanging closet there. There you can see the little speaker there. Electric outlet, USBs there. Cabinet up here goes across the whole top. Little nightshades on the windows there. 
Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. CouchesRVNation.com. Ray203.